Hi, I'm Karen Ledbury, TV presenter and Stone Real Estate Ambassador. Recently, Supercoach Peter Gilchrist caught up with the director and founder of Stone Real Estate, Peter Mumford, to talk about Stone, where it's come from and where it's headed. So Peter, I've been watching what you're doing here for a long time now. How long have you been going? Oh, well, Stone started I guess we did a test office in September last year, but really we didn't start opening all the offices until February. So it's really only going since February this year. Fascinating to see the growth that you've had, and I'm always interested in, in new ideas and new concepts. Why did you, why did you start Stone? Ah, well, it's a good question. Stone was born out of a lot of questions with agents, um, and I guess through desire wanting to create something different. And we were part of a large network, but we sort of felt a bit lost in that. We wanted to create a business with agents for agents. And through all the involvement of different questions, it sort of evolved into the model that we have now. So the model I know is, is it's aimed at more at salespeople who know there's perhaps something else out there for yeah. them. Something other than just high performance in sales month after month, year after year. How does the model work for them? Um, so Pete, again, I guess it's coming back to that, the desire to create that model, because. The original question was these, a lot of agents would come to us and say, Pete, look, we work really hard, but we also realise if we get hit by a car tomorrow, we have no income. So, and they would also say to me, Pete, we'd like to own part of the business, but we don't have to manage it. Yeah. And a lot of them also were, I guess, somewhere in their 30s and 40s, young families, and didn't want to risk it all. So the model has evolved to where we, we actually help agents become partners with us. A lot of agents we even fund into the business because we believe it's a two-way street. I think a lot of businesses, the problem is, they, they think the poor agent um, should pay a lot of money and a lot of good milk to be a partner. But we actually believe that an agent joining and growing with us, we're partners together and they add value by bringing gross revenue to the table and we add value by providing all the back of house services. So we don't, we don't charge them goodwill and we help them become partners with us. So, if I've got it right, they can focus on what they do best, which is Correct. out in the field, working with their clients, um, bringing in listings, selling houses, you take care of just about everything else. Exactly right. That's right. It's, we're not trying to make agents business people to have to learn to do the trust accounting, to run the office, to create all the marketing. That's, that's not the model. There's a lot of other models, you know, typical franchises like that. You get a, a, another brand's franchise and you have to become an expert in trust accounting, marketing personnel management and put up all the money. Our model is that we do all the back of the house, we build the sales teams for you, we do recruitment, we grow the rent roll, we have a great organic rent roll growth structure and we allow you to do what you do best as an agent which is list and sell. But we're building assets for you by massively growing that rent roll at the same time. And at the same time they're going on a journey of understanding management, of understanding running a business, the directorship right. and, and all of that aspect of it, they still would get a real good grounding in that. They, they do, because we're, we're real partners, so we're having our monthly meetings and our profit and loss meetings, and we're wanting to educate our partners so they can evolve and grow through the business. Because we have some partners that are coming in as a 10% shareholder, but one day they're wanting to expand their shareholding to a lot more, and our other partners are starting with a lot more. So it depends where they're comfortable to start with us and also what sort of revenue they're writing at the time. And I think that some of these high-performing salespeople, they know they have good ideas for management. They, they want their input valued. They want someone to listen to them. They don't necessarily want to spend all the time and do it, Correct. but they just want to be heard and they want to have some, some ability to just tap the rudder every now and then, and I'm getting that that's what they have with you. Yeah, that, that's exactly right, and I think that was some of the questions when I would sit with our team as we were building and creating model, was that we also realised that for great agents, you're in the trenches day on day, you know what's going on, you know what you need sort of for marketing, but you may not get that support, or that the brand could be so big that it's not flexible enough to tailor styles of marketing and reports that you need for your area. Because we have a whole in-house graphic team and when agents start with us to create their whole marketing plan and what they specifically need and we focus on their areas because we know you're in the trenches listing and selling every day and where our job is to give you great support make your life easier and help build the business that you're in with us that's fantastic um, you're you've been going six months yeah. where are you in Sydney right now and if I was sitting listening to this as a salesperson you thought well maybe I be, should be having a chat with this this man 
Where, where are you interested in talking to people? Well, yeah, we've been going just since February now, second week of Feb. Uh, we currently have six offices. We're in um, Mandeville, uh, Colorado GY, and opening in DY shortly uh, within this month. And we're in um, Manly, Seaforth, uh, just over Nutra Bay two weeks ago. We're going into Mossman probably early next year in January. And we're just building our team there now, looking for the final partners. And we'll be opening in the Willoughby and Linfield and jumping to ride and then over to the other side of the bridge early next year. So Pete, give me an example of the sort of agent you have spoken to so far. Somebody who's perhaps joined, you know, without names and everything. Yeah, yeah. But well, it's varied actually. Some of the agents are varied. We've had from million dollar riders to two million dollar riders that have joined us and coming on. And we've had agents riding 400k. So it is quite varied and they all join for different reasons. Some are joining because they want to be a partner in the business and other are joining because they want some sort of asset growth. Because effectively all our agents are a shareholder or a partner, yeah. whether they're building a rent roll with us or they're directly invested in the company. And it does vary. So that's, I guess, when I sit with agents, I really find out what's important to them, what they're trying to achieve with their careers, where do they need coaching, where do they want to grow to as a person and how do they get some equity and assets with us. And it does, it does evolve into different persons. But again, each case is different and every person is different and uh, can I really do that until I sit with them and find out. Fantastic. So you listen first. It's all about listening. It's not about me, it's about what's important to them. Because if we can then find that out, we can help them have a successful career and build something with us that they're happy about. So Pete, if I'm sitting watching this and I'm thinking, yeah, I'd love, I'd love to be a little bit more master of my own destiny, keep, keep selling, but maybe have some part of the pie, what do I do? What do I do? I ring you? Who do I talk yeah. to? Just call me. If, if you're really wanting to have a bit more within an equity stake within the business and you feel there's a little bit lacking where you are or things haven't changed, just call me. My number will be at the end of the video. I really look forward to having a chat to you about it and showing you what Stone's all about. Thanks so much for talking to me, man. Thanks, Pete. Cheers. Great.